Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today. <sighs> Doriko. Doriko, 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 Doriko. The live reaction is going to be in the top, well, my right-hand corner, your left-hand corner. If you haven't seen the live reaction, check out the live reaction. Now, this chapter. Let me start off like this. I want to hate the chapter. Yeah, I want to hate it. But it makes so much sense. And I can't. I want to hate it, but I can't hate it because it makes so much goddamn sense. It, it's so logical, but it's so shocking. Like, like that's it's like I want to give it a yo, but I want to give it a bad. Like it, it's weird. And let me tell you why. Excluding the other parts in the chapter, so basically you have Sunny. And the beehive planes. You have that copic dude. No, she does his thing and he blocks the laser squall. That was cool. You have Zebra and Tengu pull out a collab attack or a collab maneuver where Tengu he magnetizes his body so his body becomes one giant magnet. And then the meteorite, since they have the iron inside of them, they get attracted to Tengu Brunchy and then they get clustered together. And Zebra does this new move called Voice Eruption. That was pretty cool. It seems like a fire-based move, but I'm not too sure. It's hard to really gauge on that. And then you have Coco and the Seiseya who's with him. And basically, they're just skipping along through the poison meadows. And it's not a big deal, aside from the poison hail. That stuff is pretty unique. But other than that... Those parts are, are relatively simple. And Mappy and Komatsu are still gunning for air. They're still hauling some extreme ass on the Karu. But here's my thing, man. And, and I'm, I'm so... I don't know where to go. Because my thing here is this. Given the hype of the last chapter, you were expecting five minutes or two minutes, something. You were expecting an actual battle to ensue between Toriko of the four Heavenly Kings against Heracles of the Eight Kings. Like, that's what you were expecting. Based on the hype, Mitsutoshi put... A phenomenal, a phenomenal level, degree of hype on the last chapter. And when it comes to this chapter, once again, they're in stare-off mode. The tension is right. You can see the tension on the face of Toriko and Heracles. And you're thinking, oh shit, it's going to go down. It's, it's down, it's down. And... Oh my god, it was... <sighs> because we've always had... See, it's not like Toriko has never lost a fight. Toriko has lost several fights, alright? Tommy Rod, Stajan being prime examples. He's lost fights, and pretty bad, too. And when it comes to Toriko's analysis of certain situations... Sometimes he's off, but he's not off by a lot. It's like, because Toriko, he's a very perceptive, intelligent main character. And when he has a certain judgment, you expect, you have certain expectations to lie within that judgment. Whether he either overestimated or underestimated, or he was just right. And when it came to Heracles, I'm pretty sure that he overestimated his own abilities. I mean, this is the guy who could, again, capture level 600 and below, they can't fuck with Toriko. His intimidation alone scares them shitless. 
but it wasn't just the fact that Toriko lost. Because again, he's lost so many times before. It's the fact that this dude, this nigga just breathed on him. That was it. He, I, that was it. Just, oh, are you kidding? That was it. It was so fast where Toriko couldn't even react. He didn't know what the fuck happened until all of a sudden, like, half his vision just disappeared. Like, what the f He didn't even last five seconds! It was- it, it was an instant! It was an instant! And this- this dude just breathed on him! That was it! An air- Mucus! Yeah! Done! I'm the- Dude! What? Oh, fucking Heracles. It... How do you be the main character like that? How do you how do you just breathe on a nigga and just and blow out half of his body? It, that was it! It was just a nose cannon over! I, I can't believe it it's it's so hard to believe like after it happened i was expecting for toriko to like stand up or or do something but he just on the ground just dirt nap one go nine nigga one go nine nigga he went nine That's ridiculous. I mean, the divide between him and Heracles is ocean wide. It's it it's so vast. It's not even comparable. It's how it's like a fly and a lion. It just paw. I got get, get out of my face. No, it's 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 worse than that. It's worse because. There were no paw swipes. There were no, like, movements done by Heracles that were subtle or that were grand. He just breathed. That's all he fucking did. Shit. I've never seen that. I've never seen a main... I mean, I've seen main characters get the shit beat out of them because they were too cocky. I've seen main characters overestimate themselves and just get wastelanded. I've never seen a dude just get breathed on and get wiped out like in, in, an, in an instant. And then Heracles walks like it was nothing. Like not whatever, like scrub, fodder. How do you fodderize Toriko? Toriko, man, are you kidding? He fodderized Toriko of all people. Hey, that's nuts. And I bet you Heracles and even the top of the eight kings. Everyone knows Battle Wolf is waiting. Everyone knows Battle Wolf is waiting. Battle Wolf is just chilling. Like, when you come in, Toriko. I mean, consider the hype. When, remember, after the fight between Stars and Toriko, what happened? This whole narration of when Toriko woke up, the eight kings could feel that shit. When Toriko woke up after his fight between him and Stars after you see his arms and legs regenerated through Komatsu's uh, knife scales, the eight kings will feel that shit. They can, they can feel it. All right, their spidey senses were tingling. Like, whoa, what the, what the fuck is that? Like, you know, shivers, chills, something. They felt it. And you're thinking, okay, I right, fine. So maybe we got something good going on here. But no, here I am fucking five seconds. It was, it was so shocking, man. Like, like, like the way, the way Michitoshi did it, he just breathed. And then Tor Toriko's still staring up at Heracles. He's still in, like, stance mode. And then, like, next second, the vision, the sight's gone. Fuck. I, I, 
I don't know. I don't know where to go with that. That's crazy. That's nuts. Just breathe on it, nigga. I mean, I said before that he wasn't ready for the 8Ks, and that's true. That's true. He's not ready for the 8Ks. But, again, like, I, I, I had faith in Toriko, all right? We had faith in Toriko. And, uh, no, it, it, fucking, uh, no, man, no! Also, I did see in the comment sections that some people were under the impression that this was an intimidation. It was an illusion. No. And the reason why I say no is very simple. This Heracles walks away. Heracles walks away. Like this well, well, it, it, horse gallops away. This dude galloped away. Like, like whatever. Like not a big deal at all. On his merry way. And you have like Uber Unicorn Pegasus horses and Dharma horses right next to him. Like, yo, guys, it's time to go. Alright? I'm done. Brush my shoulders off. It's time to go and, and kill Mappy and Komatsu. I'm hungry. I need a sacrifice. Fucking. Uh. Yo, Arab orbs are scary as fuck. Alright? Heracles is scary as fuck. Alright? It's, it's not. No. No. Alright? For, forget about training. Alright? What? In order for Toriko to compete on that level. You need to consume Akasia's courses. You have to. All right. Midera is like hundreds of years old. And he's been training for like. Well, Midera is. He's an exception. Beyond exception. Right. He's. Yeah, he is. All right. Given his circumstance. Given the fact that he has this insane ability. And he's had so much experience. Given the fact that he's so old. But. Toriko, he's so far to go, man. So far to fucking go. That's that's bonkers. So I'm done. I'm done. I can't give it a rating because it's it's it's, it's so surprising. It's so jaw dropping. I want to give it a yo, but based on previous events, I want to give it bad. It's, it's like I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. So I'm done. King of Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe. All right, you give it your own rating. Shit. Fucking Heracles, man. I can only imagine the mother snakes and 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 the emperor crows and the one tooth dragons and just just the other crazy eight kings that we have going on there. The, the three that we don't know about. Him by himself is an eight king. He's only one. If there's like multiple, imagine that. If they're like Battle Wolf, eight king, but there's like a whole pack of them. It, it, how do you fuck with that? That's not possible. No. No, 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 no. This is no. These, no, these niggas are too much, man. They're too much. So, it makes sense, but it's still, it's like. <sighs> I'm, I want to lean towards giving it a yo. I want to lean towards that direction. But I still can't help but look at this from the other perspective. It's, it's really hard for me not to. But I'm done. King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.